Hi, I'm Christina McGoldrick with This Week in Santa Clarita. We're now right here at the Westfield Valencia Town Center for the second installment of the city's public art exhibits at Westfield. I'm here with Tom Leeser, Program Director at Cal Arts. Tom, tell us a little bit more about this Ghost Calm exhibit we have here at Westfield. Well, uh, Ghost Calm is a project that came out of our class at the Center for Integrated Media called Sound Game Public Space. It's a class that's designed around uh, integrating sound and uh, gaming uh, into a location-based environment and created a uh, game that incorporated uh, audio and a narrative about missing ghosts. This was a collaborative project with, that was involved with both faculty and students. Can you tell us how everyone worked together to kind of make this possible? No preconditions going into it. What we ended up doing was we took the students, uh, introduced them to the concept of public art, introduced them to the concepts of sound and gaming, and then brought them to the uh, Town Center Mall, uh, let them do a site visit, introduced them to Jeff Barber, who was our uh, contact with the city. Uh, then we developed uh, a, a few of those classes around concept design. Um, we uh, threw ideas back and forth. It was a very kind of collaborative uh, process. Every, all of the students had input in terms of the direction of the uh, project. Once we came up with a narrative, <clears throat> then we uh, worked together generating the technology and Dave Mickey uh, worked closely with a, a, a section of the group to develop the software and the hardware. Uh, we also developed the script, we developed the characters and developed uh, the background stories to the characters. Uh, we also uh, developed the hardware and the various uh, ancillary designs, uh, posters, um, knitted, uh, knitted packs to hold the, the, the game devices. So we uh, really worked with the talents of the students. So <clears throat> for example, the knitting was a really interesting idea. We would never have thought of incorporating knitting into a game. But one of our students uh, was a really good knitter. And we decided, wouldn't it be great if we had knit the, uh, the, the uh, packs as opposed to having some high tech pack. And uh, it actually, uh, it's actually the, the, the packs themselves are a real attention grabber when, when people come over to play the game. Right now we're here with Dave Mickey, adjunct faculty member at CalArts. Dave, can you tell us more about the actual Ghost Calm exhibit itself? Sure. So welcome. This is the Ghost Calm device and then there's RFID tags throughout the mall. And this tag will activate the device. This is the only way of controlling the device. And then you hear the clues within the headsets. Within this device, there's a RFID reader, a Arduino, which actually houses all the programming and the code, and then a MP3 player that houses all the sound effects. All right, so what's the, oh, I know you put on these headphones and you're trying to find, via your headsets, you're trying to find the clues to find the members of the ghost band that are hidden within the mall. Yes, the ghost band. So the game is based around this ghost band, and you're trying to find all four members and all four members' instruments. And once you find them all, you hear the song from the ghost band, Phantom Power. All right, how long is this exhibit going to be at the Westfield Valencia Town Center? It's here through July 26, and it's playing every Saturday, Sunday from noon until 6 p.m. All right now we're here with Jeff Barber, Arts and Events Supervisor for the City of Santa Clarita. Jeff, you're one of the people that make this public arts program possible, and Westfield's always been a great community sponsor to the City of Santa Clarita. How have they contributed to our public art program? Well, first off, they've let us use this beautiful space here. It's 20 by 20 feet. Uh, we'll be doing exhibits here uh, consistently throughout the year. So that's the, the big thing is just having a space to actually present exhibits, installations, this game, etc. Uh, the next game uh, or the next exhibit coming up is a, uh, a thing called the Art Challenge. And what we're doing is we have six artists. We're uh, going to give them $500. They're going to go into a store here and spend that money. They can only go to the store that they're assigned and then they're gonna have to create a piece and then it'll be displayed here. And that'll open up on probably, I think, uh, early August. Uh, and that's gonna be pretty exciting. Um, so we've, we've had three different installations here thus far and all have been very different from each other. Uh, so we're really excited about just continuing that and trying to present different ways of, of seeing art and different projects. And so we're really excited about Westfield letting us use this uh, space. It's pretty neat. and. Uh, uh, stay tuned for more. Well, there you have it. Don't forget to come by Westfield Valencia Town Center and check out Ghost Calm. There's other events scheduled across the city throughout the year for our public arts program. Check those out at santa-clarita.com.